If you are INFP or INTP, it might be more difficult for you to achieve the general modern society standard of successful. Hey y'all, what's up? So today is actually my last day of spring semester and today I also have a test of Psych 100 but first, let's take a look of my outfit for today. I'm recently really obsessed with this, this type of really baggy clothes. I have a fun fact to share with you guys today. So Jack Harlow is supposed to perform at our school today. Today is April 29th, and which is like a school tradition. I remember in 2019, Doja Cat performed at our school. I didn't go because I was really busy. Secondly, Doja Cat wasn't really that big, not really famous in 2019, but I do like her songs back then, so I kind of regret it. I probably still, be, still won't go to Jack Harlow's performance because I probably will never be into his music, but who knows. Anyways, today is the last day of school, so I just decided to, you know, relax. Okay, so as an introvert, I'm going to address what's on my video title. I'm going to tell you guys how to survive in this cool extroverted world as an introvert, as well as how to thrive and live your best life as an introvert. Today is the last day of school, so I actually ordered some food to celebrate it. Let's take a look. If you're just clicking this video, grab some food, grab some drink, and grab some snack so we can chat together. So I don't know if you guys noticed the whole society, the whole world is trying to turn majority of the people into ESTJ or ESTP. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, ESTJ basically refers to the people who are more extroverted and who is more of a people that focus on detail and more of a rational thinker who really um, prefer the lifestyle that's more on the set schedule. So what I am talking about here is called MBTI. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, you can Google MBTI and do the do the 60 personality test, it will give you the four letter that represent your personality. Anything start with E means extroverted personality, and anything start with I is introverted. I have to be honest, this test is not totally accurate, but if you have no idea what even MBTI is, this is not a bad place to start. Me, I am an INTJ. So I believe the MBTI personality always start with E and I because being extroverted or being introverted is the most important factor to determine our life path, our career choice, our relationship with other people, and what's our motive of doing something. If you are INFP or INTP, it might be more difficult for you to achieve the general modern society standard of successful. I don't know if you have seen a graph, people's salary depends on the MBTI personality because the whole society is still leaning toward those people who are more socialized, who are more into networking. That is why networking is such a big thing in America. So first of all, you need to get a better understanding of our whole world. Basically, you need to realize the whole world is extroverted, not just America. I'm talking about the whole world. A lot of people misunderstood the concept of judgmental society. I kind of mix it with extroverted world. And that's not the case. What I mean by the judgmental society is when a society creates a social norm and kind of subconsciously force everyone to participate in it. If you are not participate in the social norm, you will be considered as weird, face really big social pressure. So for example, China is a very judgmental society, in my opinion. Basically in China, if you don't want to settle down and have a baby by the age of 13, you can be considered as being weird and you will get judged by so many people that's older than you. As well as if you are participate in many activities alone and just doing so stuff by yourself in China, you will get judged. In that case, I would say America is pretty judgmental as well. America doesn't really encourage silence, okay? Like being silent means being disrespectful to other people. Uh, which in China is the opposite. So in China, silence is more encouraged and some of your introverts will dream of move to Japan just because you see so many restaurants, hotels and cafes for solo people. And you made the assumption 
that Japan is a country for the introvert people. Well, Japan may be a less judgmental society when it comes to being alone or being introverted, but Japan, in my opinion, is still considered an extroverted country. So basically, if a country prefers the people who are more extroverted, who talk more, who are more likely to network a lot, and overall, for those extroverted people, they will get better salary, they will get more opportunities, then boom, this country is for the extroverted people. Here are some my advice. First of all, don't let difficulty keep you from venturing outside. So many people believe introversion and extroversion is just about socializing with other people. It's not the case. I believe the extroverted people in general are more likely to explore the outside world. Because extroverted and introverted is not just about how you spend time with people and how to deal with relationships, it's also about a thinking pattern. Extroverted people usually have the kind of mindset to just do stuff first and think about it later. And that's why it's easier for them to explore outside world and do some risky activities and initiate a conversation with strangers. On the other hand, introverted people tend to think about anything in their head first and then they start to act. For example, introverted are people are more likely to spend time on focusing on themselves and understanding themselves. They really need time to digest what they have gone through the whole day and just to reflect and learn from their experience. So as a result, introverted people need more time and space alone for themselves. Introverted people is winning if overthinking is a category. So basically, Introverted people need to start to take action rather than overthinking because thinking sometimes can lead to a dead end. So in my opinion, introverts should actually go out more often and just connect with nature and try new things. Try to go out, drink some coffee, try some new restaurant, have some sex. Basically, all the stuff that gives you new experience because we are literally the opposite of extroverted people. Extroverted people want to go out more, but in reality, what they need is to reflect and think more. But introverted people, we think a lot. What we actually need to do is go outside. Second of all, you need to develop your own opinion and your own individuality. It's kind of unfair that sometimes people see introvert people as submissive and weak because we all know America is really a place that encourages people to speak up even when it's loud and wrong. From school to workplace, people are encouraged to ask questions. And it's really tiring when you hear so many opinions that's conflicted with your own opinion and your own value every single day. But imagine how tired we are. Imagine how tired we are of it. So introverts often think about a point of view a very long time and before expressing them, which is excellent in my opinion, because being reflective is a benefit. And whether we would like to express our opinion or not is a freedom. But regardless, you must have your own opinion and not to be easily swayed by other people. Because you know, a lot of people, they do minimal research before saying some stupid shit. A lot of people don't really deserve the right to voice their stupid ass opinion. Like if you don't know about anything about the topics, like just shut the fuck up. But just always remember being loud doesn't equal being right. So it's really important to stand for yourself and fight for your freedom fight for your own opinion, really draw the line and just don't feel the need to agree with up people every time just because of conformity. And third of all, actually at this point I kind of regretted recording this video because I feel like I'm giving unsolicited advice. But anyway, here we are, so let's finish this video. I think most of y'all heard of a term called the bucket effect, the bucket effect aka the Kanekin Law. It's really funny how a lot of people use this theory for their self-development. And we always ignore the fact that people are not bucket. So instead of spend too much time of weakness, I would just recommend spend time on develop your strength and be proud of yourself. Ignore something will take you a too many time and too many energy to achieve. Like for example, I really give up on being and try to be extroverted because that's just impossible. Like you, uh, introverted people can never be an extroverted people. Unless you are a kid or you are a teenager and forming your own personality. But once you become an adult, it will be impossible for you, an introverted person, to become an extroverted. Anyway, that's the end of this video. I finished my coffee. See you guys in the next video. Bye.